I don't want to know, no, 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 who's taking you home, 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 and loving you so, 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 the way I used to love you, no, I don't want to know, no, 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 oh, well, hello there, boys and girls, Knife Licker here, and guess what we got today, you ready for this, oh, boom, look at this, friggin' sword. It's still going. This is the old Dominion Knife Works Slenderman. Thumb stud version. This thing is a beast, guys. Absolute beast. This is sent to me through the Apex Pass Around group Courtesy of Kyle Lamphere, this is his knife, and um, this is a full custom, fully built by hand. No CNC work here, guys. This is all done by hand, okay? We got a titanium handle. Okay, actually, I didn't even measure the, the full length of this, but the blade is five and a quarter inches. I measure from tip to the edge of the scale. I mean, to the edge of the uh, handle scale. Yeah, same deal, I guess. Five and a quarter inches long. And it has this nice work and finish here. It's kind of a rather aggressive stone wash. It's kind of, it's different looking than your normal stone wash. It's more, um, it's more scratchy looking. I kind of like it. So you've got your um, Old Dominion Knife Works logo there okay full titanium handle you got this groove milled in the handle this titanium skull penetrator crusher demolisher whatever that thing is this titanium clip which works amazing it's really long but this thing this thing actually in pocket is really nice because it's a slim knife it's really long obviously this is about six inches, I'd say. Maybe just over six inches long, the handle. But it's slim. So when you put it in your pocket, it just sits off to the side rather nicely, okay? And you got about that much going to be sticking up from the top, okay? Of course, you do have this skull crusher sticking up. But if you're a guy that's going to be carrying or buying this knife, you probably don't care if that's sticking out of your pocket. I mean... I don't I wouldn't care, you know. Come on now. Let me be totally honest with you. When I first got this knife, if you can see the way that that thumb stud is nestled in there. I mean, I couldn't open this knife with my thumb. I sat here and I could not get this thing to go. And I actually uh, messaged Kyle on Instagram and he's like, "Well, it opens like the uh, CEO, you know, the CRKT CEO." I was like, "Oh, I never I've never handled that knife either. And so he sent me a video of like what you had to do. And I watched it. And I tried it. And I could just get it every time now. And the thing. And, and it's weird because it opens up so easily. Like I don't know what I was doing. Obviously I was doing it wrong. But I couldn't get the thing to budge. And it was just like destroying my thumbs. Because it's got this like. um This. uh Oh geez. Wrong side got this like knurling on the thumb studs let's see if I can get this so you guys can actually see it see right there it's got like this knurling and it uh, it will destroy your thumb if you slip man it sucks but I can get it every time now and this thing just flies out of there and with a blade this long uh, if it just feels awesome it just it really does you know be totally honest with you this is a knife that even me, I like big tactical knives. I can appreciate this knife, and I can definitely tell that it's built. It's built very, very well. And the um, there's nothing really crazy besides the size going on with this knife, you know. But it, it is so solid, and it is. You've got. You've also got your um the jimping up here, and it's that wide space jimping, but it works just fine, you know. And you got some more on the top of the blade here. You can kind of choke up on it, and it's a beast. 
it's definitely built very, very, very nicely. Um, falls right down. Um, let's see here. See, I'm not used to having a knife this big, hit the steering wheel and everything else. Um, the one of the big uh, hits I will give it, and actually even Kyle said it in his video, when you go to disengage the lock, this edge here is really sharp. You know, so, I mean, after a while, you figure out how to do it with your thumb so you don't hit that edge. But, um, that's kind of my only nitpick, you know, with this knife. This knife is $800, and that's not really that bad, you know. It is it is a fully hand-built custom knife. Um, Old Dominion Knife Works. And I am going to roll in some pictures of some of their other uh, custom knives, some other models that he offers. And, um... His name's Casey, I believe. And here's the card for this knife. Now, on here, it says for the steel, it's A-E-B-L. But Kyle, I guess, had spec'd it out to be Nitro V. So the steel is actually Nitro V, and they just mismarked it on this card here. Okay, it is running on ceramic barons and detent. Is ceramic as well. Um, all manual, you know, it is, um, there's no, no assisting going on here. I mean, once you figure out how to open this, it feels assisted. The thing just flies out and it is a fun knife to play with. I tell you what, if you had this thing in your pocket and had to whip it out, somebody would really be thinking twice, you know, unless they had a gun, of course, you know, but this knife is very, very nice. And I am, um, very happy that I got to check this out. Thank you, Kyle. And um, I can definitely see why um, you would be attracted to this knife. It does go for $800, like I said. Not cheap, but for a fully handmade custom knife. That's not bad at all, guys. It's really not. It's nothing I could afford. And, um, you know, my honest opinion, if I had $800, I probably wouldn't spend it on this. But... You know, I, I can still see the allure, and I can still, you know, respect what has been put in front of me here. This is a very, very well-built knife, and I am privileged to be able to have checked it out and to show to you guys. So again, the old Dominion Knife Works, Slenderman, and Nitro V Steel. Absolute beast, guys. And actually, hold on, I'll give you a quick size comparison. Now, I've shown you guys my T Tucson TS191. Now, this is a 9-inch knife, okay, 3 and 3 quarter inch blade. So, this in itself is a pretty big knife, okay? Look at this. I'm going to have to hold this back, but, okay, we'll just put it pivot to pivot. Totally dwarfs this Tucson. Dwarfs it. So, that gives you kind of an idea of what we're working with with this Slenderman. Absolute monstrosity, and it is absolutely fun to play with. But you better watch out, because when you release this lock bar, if you're not paying attention, this thing will come down and it will take your finger right off, you know? Before you even realize what happened, you know, you'll be trying to trying to find your finger on the floor and hopefully um, the cat didn't get it before you find it. Yeah. Not that that's ever happened to me, but I could see that happening with this bad boy. Tell me what you guys think. Like and subscribe. Love you long time. Thanks again, Apex and to Kyle. Love you guys long time, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.